Where is Masha? Great job! I love learning Persian. We got this. You're gonna run your brains out. Touchdown, home run. Yes, go! <laughs> Moshe took the Jews out of Mitzrayim and he gave them 10 makos. What was the first maka? Yes. Svaradaya? No. 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 Yes. Choro? No! 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 We were looking for schools for Deborah, who's our oldest, and at the time in Bergen County, it was very difficult to get to the school of your choice, and we didn't get in. And I said to Nachi, I'm, I'm a big believer that things happen for a reason. I said to him at the time, we're gonna go to Noam. There was no building, there was no administration, there were no teachers, but at the end of the day, we believed in Rabbi Hagler, we believed in his vision, and we said we could be a part from the ground up and help develop the school, and that's what we did. I don't think we really knew what was going to happen. Hours and hours of meetings, endless nights. I used to come home and wake Nachi up at 1 o'clock in the morning after coming off from a board meeting and say to him, there's not enough money to pay the teachers next week. We're not going to be able to, to, to get the next building that we need. It was so um, scary and so exciting at the same time to be part of building the next generation of Jewish children.
today it's a school of over 800 kids. Uh, it's truly an amazing thing and it is alive, it's bustling, it's, it's filled with energy. The teachers really develop a, a love for the children. You look back and it's in, we're incredibly proud to have been a part of it. I felt comfortable in Yeshiva Noam and it, I think it really prepared me for high school. The level of comfort that they provide makes you willing to reach out to the teachers. I think that's something that Noam you know, instilled in me from the first day. When we first moved to Bergenfield, we got invited out for Shabbos, actually to the Konigsbergs, and Lauren Ochama was just talking all about Yeshivat Noam. And we were like, should we try this? And then we did, and it was wonderful. <laughs> I think that one of the really special qualities of Yeshivat Noam is the warmth of the teachers. Every kid needs something different, and the teachers really try and find that, and just give that over so warmly and so lovingly. One of the things that I'm really uh, proud about in terms of Yeshiva Noam is that at the end of the day, the kids, there's a certain level of meshlachai, the respect that they have for teachers, for Abayim, for just being rounded out in terms of um, acting appropriately. What our kids have learned is to be good people, well-rounded, uh, whether it's academically, whether it's the way they treat other people, whether it's staying back and helping clean up a room afterwards, whatever it may be, it's those little things that I think they really begin to develop through the, the lessons that they've learned at Noam. My dad's the softy in the fam. You wouldn't yeah. expect that. Yeah. <laughs> the big man, you know. <laughs> There's a running joke among my friend group that my mom thinks that she's still a teenager. You know, running around, she has to know what the trends are, she has Instagram, Snapchat. You should check out her Facebook, for real. <laughs> She's by <laughs> far my most active Facebook friend. We have a book here that she ordered that just, it's a book full of her Facebook posts. Every single Facebook Three post she's, she's, ever, <laughs> she's ever posted, it's, it's got it in that book. That book has hundreds of pages. You look back and you look at all the teachers that are part of this, I think we don't say it often enough, how amazing they are in terms of giving their time and their energy. We're privileged to be honored alongside the Rousmans who do that, whether it's as a coach of the hockey team or as a teacher in the school. To be honest, I didn't really like school growing up and so I wanted to make it more fun for other people. When I first started, a kid raises his hand in a different school and he goes, um, Something's wrong with the clock. It hasn't moved in an hour. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I got up my game a little bit. And from then on, it was like, okay, we gotta make this fun. We gotta make this something that they enjoy doing. And so much so that when we start a subject, girls sometimes will say like, yes, I love Navi. That's just the best feeling for me. They just are so excited to be doing what they're doing. So many people come over to Alana and I while we're walking outside and my initial reaction is they're coming to see me. And it's amazing for me to see that Alana has built up such a beautiful reputation that they all come over to say hello to her and completely walk right past me and say, you know, hey more Alana, how's it going? Oh, that was so nice. And are you crying? <laughs> I'm a man. Men don't cry. That was really nice, thanks. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I coach in the Noam Knights, and sports provides the kids with the opportunity to learn about characteristic traits that they may not see in the classroom, whether it's uh, leadership or commitment. The kids are able to see love of sports, but at the same time, love of Torah. He really does his best to make sure that that's their values. The Rousmans are great. Morilan and I spent a lot of time in those early days developing curriculum, strategizing, and what she's built has really just been incredible. And uh, Coach Ozzy, we've been in the last three championships under his guidance. And even more important than the championships is the, the midot that Coach Ozzy teaches the kid. He's taken a group of guys and made a great team out of them. I love Moralana because she makes learning fun. She understands us. She brings Torah to life. She makes us feel at home. She enjoys teaching us. She's fun. She dances in the middle of class. She makes us feel special. Thank you, Moralana! Thanks, Coach. We appreciate all you do for our team. Thank you, Coach, for teaching us how to have the proper mito and to be respectful on and off the court. Thank you, Coach Ozzy! Mazel tov, Mommy and Abba! Thank you, Mom and Dad! Thanks, Mom and Dad. We love you.
I think that we need to all take a step back for a moment when we're going through the process of, of our children's education and understand that it really takes a village. It takes an entire group of people to help walk alongside us as parents and, and, and get our children from point A to point B. That to me is sort of a critical lesson that I've learned over the years and I think that's why we volunteered so much over the last several years. The Pauls just roll up their sleeves and get involved and um, get done what needs to get done. They don't really care what it is that they're working on as long as they're helping the school. Most nights either look like, you know, a meeting around the table, us two babysitting them because they're at fresh meetings or Noah meetings. Um, I think that was my entire high school experience. <laughs> I honestly think my mom and dad do nothing all day. One of the big things I think that Nahi really was able to take care of was a lot of, um, most of our legal work, if not all of it, has been donated. And I had the opportunity to work uh, with TD Bank in connection with the financing of our building. And they've been an incredible partner over many, many years ever since then. I want to say a special thank you to TD Bank uh, for all of your support and for all of the paraphernalia. Anything else they got from TD Bank? TD Bank tissues. I said, oh, the TD Bank mug. Now we're talking. The culture of the school from day one was really to participate, whether it was screwing together the desks, which I'm still amazed that they stood for as long as they did, or uh, just coming and helping at a particular event and volunteering their time. They have a legacy now you know, that they get to say, look what I built um, and look what my kids grew up in. Um, we helped build that. I think everybody can share something, can contribute something, and give something. And I think that when we do do that, when everybody gives what they can give, I think ultimately the collective good that is created is something which is very special. It's an important lesson for the children to show how important Jewish education is, and it's a great lesson to learn to give back in any form. Now, what do you feel? Do you look at it? Um, or you are today? Exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> you look at our children, um, There'll be other tears, don't worry. <laughs> we look at, um, at who they've grown into. And there's no question that that foundation was built here at this school. And it's, it's a lot of pride for us to look back and feel like we were a part of this journey with them. Watch me do my death. Watch me do my death. Which arm? Wait, wait, whatever, which arm? One, two, three. Deborah, you smacked me. I think you got your blueprint. <laughs>